Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Yes, man. I can't wait to see you. Oh, man. It's over now. I can love you. Yeah, it'll be good, man. Oh, man. Oh, I love you, man. I'm coming out. I'm going to swear coming. Yeah, Oh, man. I need to see you. It's been too long. <laughs> she was bawling her eyes. She was bawling her eyes out earlier. How did you see her? Oh, she was a state. Oh, you look. Oh, look. You look brand new. You were in bits before. <laughs> yeah, they're filming. <laughs> Thank you, Mum. I've worked hard. Well, we got a good beat. He got a good beating. Let me call you. Let me call you guys after, okay? Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, I've got to do that. I've got to do that. I've got. You'll be up. I've got to do the UK anti doping, um, and then I've got to do a couple interviews because Coogan's like driving me mad. Yeah, Coogan's driving. Coogan's, Coogan's driving me mad. No, Coogan's blackmailing me and all that. I thought I was family nice. What's going on? <laughs> oh, Mia, you ain't. <laughs> oh, I love you. I've gone by. You alright? <sighs> tired. So, are you recording? No, oh, you oh, are. I thought we were doing this. I thought we were doing this. Coogan Cass is here with Connor Ben. Uh, is it all just catching up with you this week? Yeah, I'm just tired now, man. But, um, tired. It's funny because I got put put on the front for all these other interviews, but you know, because like we're bros and all that, and you know, you're Team Ben, and you know, you're like fully involved in the Team Ben camp. And I thought, um, yeah. you know, I can just keep it real with you and let you know I'm tired, Cooks. Absolutely, that's fine. Um, assessment of your performance, are you pleased with it? It was all right. I mean, it was on top the whole time. Didn't have anything I was worried about in there. It was, um, it was probably, you know, easy money. You know, I've had other spars than that. Not being funny, like, I'm serious. I've had some hard spars this camp. Um, in there, I was expecting a lot more from a former world champion. Um, but, you know, there wasn't much I was worried about in there. You know, I felt his power and... You know, there was absolutely nothing to it at all. Did you almost feel like you didn't get out of second gear? You know I didn't get out of second gear. You ain't got to ask that. I didn't get out of second gear. You know, it's when a fight gets on top of me that you'll see, um, well, the way you have seen before. You know, the pain I fight, again, I relate back to that because that was such a significant fight in my career. Significant because I was 18 or 19, young boy with limit, limited amateur background and limited fights in the pro game, and you know, I showed what I was made of that fight. So, you know, when a fight when it gets on top for me, you know, I don't buckle, I don't crumble, I don't fold, I don't fold under pressure you know, at all. You know, I'm ready to go. It don't it don't really bother me. This was being labelled as the step up, the test, etc., for this stage of your career. But do you really feel like as though you've had that or not really? Don't know, you know, Cogs. Like I've had hard fights that should be easy fights, and easy fights that should be hard fights. I've probably had harder fights early on in my career than I have now. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like this game's getting easier. <laughs> Training gets harder, but the fighting gets easier. Like, I've been working on my defence, as you could see in there. Um, 
I just had a, a moment, you know, where you know, I, from my debut, just looked to your boat and was just like, it just reminded me with the camera in my face and all that, like you're always in my face. And um, my debut, when um, I had all that funny air and and it's like mad that I've just been a former world champion sitting there. I just went, you know, with Sean, 12 rounds with Sean Paul, where I just, you know, had a close fight with Spence. And, you know, I beat him just as good. And it didn't come out of gear. So, come a long way, long, long way. It seems though, in that short space of time you're talking, three or four years or whatever, you have developed, you have matured as a person and as a fighter, which is fair to say, isn't it? Definitely, I mean, you're bound to make mistakes, you're bound to um, hit the deck at some stage of your career. Thank God mine was early. Um, I had my reasons as to why I wasn't me on the night, and, but nobody cared. <laughs> I'm not going to go make a list of excuses as to why um, I went right and that was that. And, you know, I paid the ultimate, well, almost paid the ultimate price. So, you know, it's onwards and upwards. Oh, my wife's just calling me. Let's get her on the old. Cool. Yo, where are you, babe? In the hotel. Are you coming over? Hi. I don't think I'm allowed over. You are? I am? Yeah, they're coming to get you. Are you joking? No. Yeah, you and the boys. Go on, go on, message Dan. Message Dan, alright? That's my beautiful wife. Okay, okay. Oh, no. right, oh, you know what cooks. Yeah. Does it make it all worth it, everything you've had to miss out on <laughs> over the last few months and sacrifice, etc.? Is it today now you've got the win? Does it make it all worth it? It's not, it's not you know, being world champion will make it worth it. Anything less won't make it worth it. Um, I'm interested in um, nothing else is an accomplishment apart from being world champion. You know, I dedicate everything I have to this game. Um, I miss my family dearly, and you all make sacrifices in life to get ahead. In any um, sphere you're in, any um, career you're in, you've got to make sacrifices. I'm not going to keep you too much longer, um, but for next year, the public will, at some point, demand this fight with, with Josh Kelly. It's only a big domestic I'm interested in. It's only a big domestic that makes sense. Um, I'm not one for calling out fighters, but, and I'm not one for, um, you know, slagging off on Twitter and Instagram or Facebook. All my accounts are run for me. I just ain't got the energy, do you know what I mean? I've got a beautiful wife. Oh, I've got a baby on the way. I've got house renovations going on. I've got some wise money investments that I deal with. So. Who's got time to beef on Twitter or Instagram? You know, do you know what I mean? So I've just got bigger things going on, bigger picture, um, business, you know. Well, I'm going to let you go because you've got calls to answer, etc. So. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.